Hey guys, welcome back to the Man Cave with Big Kev. Thank you for tuning in and welcome to the first video in the Emergency Box series. All right guys, this is the introduction to the Emergency Box. So you're probably thinking to yourself, why do I need an Emergency Box? Well, all you really have to do is look at the news these days and see what's going on in the world. Think of where you're located in the world. Take for instance, Queensland, the 2011 floods. We've got volcanoes erupting over in Hawaii. We've got tornadoes that go through the USA. We have earthquakes get, that go through China. It's all these things that people should be prepared for. It's not necessarily end of the world sort of scenarios that we need to worry about. This is for the extreme prepper. What this box is designed to do is to prepare you for stuff that may happen in your area of the world. So it could be floods, it could be earthquake, it, it could be bushfires, it could be any of those things. So that's what you have to consider. When I say you're surrounded by water, do you get king tides near the ocean? That plus storms can create flash flooding. Where I'm situated, we have a creek that runs through the back of our property. Now, 2011, uh, when the floods came through, it came up. It didn't come past our fence. And when Cyclone Debbie came through, it came up even further. And it just goes to show with different uh, situations. With 2011 floods, it was surge water, where with Cyclone Debbie, it was just volume of water. And we got less water in the floods. So these are all the things that we have to take into consideration, is what is near your place that is a potential hazard that could cause you to evacuate your home or potentially have you trapped in your home. And what this is what you should have on hand to help you get through anything from a simple power outage to your first 72 hours. I see a lot of posts on Facebook about um, how do I start prepping or where do I start? And I also see a lot of posts of how do I just prepare for a natural disaster? I'm not a prepper and all that sort of stuff. So what I, it really did get me thinking and I thought, where is the best place to start prepping? Well, in my opinion, it is to look after your first 72 hours and to create a box where you have uh, many things available to you to help you get through your first 72 hours of a crisis. So this could mean that you're in the prepper world we call bugging out or you can bug in, which is if you either leave or stay at home. If you get evacuated, you've got no choice. So you want something that you can grab and go. So this is going to outline what's going to be in there. Um, and I do have a list here because it is quite extensive. And these are the things that we're gonna go over. We're gonna go over the box, water, food, shelter, heat, light, medical, comms, hygiene, and housekeeping. Now I know that sounds like a really big list to get through, but this is going to be a series. Now the idea of the series is that week by week, you can buy stuff um, with your weekly paycheck uh, in small quantities or from, from each genre of the box so that you can start building one up and that's gonna be where you can start. Um, Obviously, you're going to start with a box. So in the next video, we'll go over the box. Now, I understand that there are going to be many seasoned preppers watching this. And this is not aimed at you guys, because I know that you guys know your stuff. But what I really do hope to get out of this is the more experienced guys to give input on these videos so that people can see more options to what's available to them. And please bear in mind that it is for only 72 hours. Um, the, the, the series may continue afterwards, after 72 hours, and then we can expand there. 
So I really want you guys to start engaging on the comments so that um, everyone can get a better gauge of what they should have in a 72 hour emergency kit. So thank you very much for wanting to see this. So I did do a poll on my Facebook page and it was overwhelming that <laughs> so many people voted on a series. I think it was 73% of you guys wanted a series. Um, I just think that it was, I, that's what I wanted to do in the first place, but I think it was just gonna be a, a long video and I would be very hard to keep you guys engaged. So this is what we're gonna do. We'll go through a genre per week um, so that, like I said, during the week, when you get paid, go out and buy a box. You can buy a decent sized box for eleven dollars, you know, or or whatever the case may be. But we'll go over that in the first video. So thank you for tuning in. I really hope you guys enjoy this series. I'm going to have a lot of fun bringing it to you. Um, disclaimer: I am no expert, so please, please do not take anything I say as gospel. But just use common sense. And uh, if any of you think that I've said something wrong bring it up because I don't want to be giving you guys the wrong information. I'm learning as well. That's what my channel is about. It's about learning. So I'm learning with you. So thank you guys. Uh, go out and check me out on Facebook and Instagram as well. I'm getting more active on Instagram now so you can see more behind the scenes sort of stuff. I'm going to use Facebook for my live feeds um, and all that sort of stuff. So please, come and support me and come on my learning journey with me. So until the next video, which will be the box, see you then.